Hello! We're super, super excited to start the course with you, but as always, before we do, we need to see where we're starting and where we're ending up so we have a clear path to becoming a top designer. So let's see what this course will look like for you. The first step is always meeting the client. This is the first step in any design project, any project you may have. And we're gonna start off with a fictional company that hires you and they wanna create a product that rivals Amazon. In this entire course, we're gonna build this product from start to finish and give for you an exact step-by-step -step process that you can use for all your future projects. This is a process that Daniel, who has worked as a lead designer for multiple companies, uses all the time. Now this section also introduces you to some of the tools we're gonna to use in the course, how to get the best out of the course, but we're also not going to spend too much time because I know you wanna get started and start designing. We're gonna revisit this idea of meeting a client later on towards the end of the course so that you can learn about things like user stories, using Trello, using story mapping in Figma. But we want us to get started, so right away, we're gonna start designing this product that this fictional company, Keiko Corp, wants to build. We're gonna learn about sketching, about inspiration, about user flows and sitemaps. This is the first stage where we try to draw inspiration from different sources and start to brainstorm ideas for the product we're gonna build. This is a very critical process and we're gonna take you step by step. Then we get into even more exciting things. This is the explore and iterate phase. This is where we talk about wireframes, prototyping, and getting feedback. We're going to start using Figma, which is a wonderful tool that more and more people are using now. Because things like Photoshop are kind of outdated when it comes to design and most people don't use it, we wanna use a modern tool like Figma that you're gonna see allows us to do everything we want. And also makes our handoff later on when we finish the project super, super easy. You're gonna love Figma. And the next step is the really, really fun part. It's the visual design. This is where we talk about design theory, accessibility, things like typography, grid and spacing, forms and UI elements, color theory, image and iconography. And obviously, as I mentioned, accessibility, which is becoming more and more important. And it's a must for all designers moving forward. This is what most of you associate design with. This idea of making things beautiful, adding color, deciding what looks good. But as you can see, there's lots of steps before we get to this visual design because you need to have a plan before you start just making things pretty. Now this section is gonna be very, very big. And we're gonna learn a lot of interesting best practices and also step-by-step -step guide for you to implement these things in all your designs. Now that our product is starting to take shape, we then get into design exploration. This is where we talk about design patterns, mobile design, applying visual design, and motion, and also micro interactions. This is where we make everything look really modern. Again, talk about best practices, about the importance of motion and animations, how we can make the user interact with our product in a way that is exciting to them, that creates good user experience. Lots to cover in this section. We then get to putting it all together. Everything we've built up until this point allows us to get to this point, which is building a design system and the final composition. Putting everything together to create the final high fidelity design assets that you can present to your client. Trust me, getting to this point is totally worth it. By the end of it all, you're gonna have tons of assets and design templates that you can use on all your future projects. And best of all, the product that we're gonna build together, you can now put on your portfolio. So that next time you're on some freelancing website or you're applying for a contract, well, they're gonna see this and they're gonna be impressed by your work. Not only that, you now have the step-by-step -step process that you can use for all your future projects to make sure that you follow the best practices. This is where we go back to the idea of meeting the client. We wanna revisit this and make sure that we understand what happens when we get our clients or we are looking for clients. What are the best practices? What are the questions that we ask 
to try to understand what their needs are because at the end of the day, design is all about understanding what the client and the user needs and creating a product around that need and want. Finally, to complete the course, we are gonna talk about this idea of creating a web portfolio for you to be discovered by others, for you to get clients and who knows, maybe even work remotely. We wanna show you some of the best practices when it comes to showcasing your work. And then finally, just as a bonus bit, because we're gonna be talking about how to hand off your work to developers. Once we're done with the design process, we usually hand off our work to developers that can program and perhaps put the website online or the mobile app in the app stores. Now, HTML and CSS is not necessary for you to be a top designer, but it doesn't hurt to know how websites are built, how to put a website online, and learn how you might become a full-fledged designer that can use HTML and CSS to wow the clients. So as you can see, we have a lot to cover, but it's gonna be really, really fun. We're gonna build something really, really beautiful that I think you're gonna be proud of at the end of it all. We're gonna take you from zero to mastery. But here's the thing. The best part of this course is our online private community of over 300,000 students. We have on here people chatting every day, helping each other out, solving problems together, showcasing their work, or just talking about the latest and greatest in the tech industry. This is an optional resource for you to use so that you can have back and forth conversation with other students and myself and Daniel so that you feel like you're part of a classroom. I'm on there chatting every day and we also have monthly challenges for you to do to supplement the course. But you know what? That's enough talking for me. I know you wanna get started. So let's learn how to design beautiful products.